We all have that one thing that we wish we had a natural talent at, taking for granted the sheer amount of work it takes to develop that talent. On an average, it takes around 10,000 hours to become an expert at something. Who has time for all of that? Turns out there are animals out there getting good at things you would never imagine animals getting good at, while you're struggling to keep up with your New Year's resolution to hit the gym every once in a while. The tale of Otto begins with his adoptive owners, Luciana Viala and Robert Ricards. They were familiar with the talents of another Guinness World Record winning bulldog named Tillman, who previously held title as the fastest dog riding a skateboard. They decided they wanted a skateboard riding bulldog of their own, because who wouldn't, and adopted Otto. Before long, Otto was playing football, surfing, and of course skateboarding. Otto's owners have a second bulldog named Lola that is friends with Otto and participates in all of his tricks. Why settle for just one skateboarding dog if you don't have to? Of the two, Otto showed the most promise, finding himself covered in the Guinness Book of World Records. It all started when Luciana and Otto were playing together and Otto started skating toward her really suddenly. Thinking quickly, she opened her legs so the dog could pass between them without hitting her. She then visualized the idea of having Otto skating between the legs of a sort of human tunnel and worked on seeing how far he could go. By the time Guinness got involved, Otto was able to glide unassisted between between the legs of 30 people standing in a row facing the same direction. Artwork created by elephants are a popular tourist attraction in Thailand. Curious individuals come from all over the world to witness the pachyderms paint. Some specialize in painting trees and flowers, but some draw portraits of themselves and other elephants. Paintings by particularly famous elephants find their way to galleries in Japan, Europe, and the US. Watching them perform this trick is pretty fascinating. Large easels with cardstock are placed in front of the elephant. A specialized paintbrush with a crossbar handle is used because it allows the elephant's trunk to grab it. Trainers nearby switch out brushes whenever the elephant runs out of paint or to change colors. When the painting is complete, the elephant gives a bow to the audience, and the paintings are offered for sale. Some can wind up with hundred or thousand dollar bids. In case the previous animals with a single talent weren't enough for you, this next pooch has three world records under her belt. Purin, an extremely talented beagle from Tokyo, Japan, first started turning heads with videos created by her owner displaying her skill at protecting a soccer goal. She has impressive form, leaning on her back legs and catching miniature soccer balls with her front paws like a champ. Dressed in a tiny soccer jersey, she's been capturing hearts all over the world at least as often as she catches footballs. Purin won her first Guinness World Record in 2015, showing off her soccer skills and catching 14 balls headed toward her field goal within one minute. Not satisfied with one award, she began training again and won two others in 2016 and 2017. Her second world record had her running 10 meters while standing on a ball in 11.9 seconds, making her the fastest to do so. Third time is the charm and was achieved by skipping rope with her owner, managing 51 successful jumps. You may think Purin spends all day training, but her owner insists she spends around 15 minutes a day working on her talents. These days, she spends a lot of time posing for photos on her Instagram and having fun with her owners. Still, there's no telling what's in store for the future of this plucky pup. When the owners of Jaku the Chicken showed up on the stage of television show America's Got Talent, the judges weren't quite sure what was happening. When her owners explained that Jaku could play the keyboard, judges Heidi Klum, Howie Mandel, Mel B, and of course the gruff Simon Cowell were not amused at first. Sitting in front of the keyboard, Jaku took her sweet time to get started. Almost a minute passed in awkward silence. The audience started to boo, and then she started playing. To the visible shock of both judges and audience alike, Jaku suddenly pecked out a note-for-note -note rendition of the song America the Beautiful. The performance got a unanimous approval and standing ovation from the judges. Jaku had made it to the judge cuts and was still in the contest. Unfortunately, Jaku was too shy to perform on stage during the next round and was eliminated. But how many human performers that were buzzed out in the first round contemplated getting shown up by a chicken? Probably more than a few. Benny is a six-year-old yellow Labrador retriever that lives in Las Vegas with his owner, retired professional ice skater Cheryl DeSangro. Cheryl found out about Benny from a pet rescue service, which had picked up Benny from a kill shelter in Utah. She filled out the forms to take him home and was immediately impressed with how quickly Benny picked up training. Before even taking on his most impressive skill, she was able to teach him over 50 tricks. So she wondered, could this dog ice skate too? Cheryl had experience teaching skating to toddlers and young children and applied that particular skill set toward getting the dog out on the ice. Like his other skills, Benny took it up eagerly, and Cheryl designed him a pair of dog-sized ice skates. Benny loved them. Benny currently skates
skates with only his front paws, allowing his back paws to control his movement. Cheryl also taught him to hold a hockey stick, slap pucks around, and patrol the ice as if he's playing ice hockey. She hopes to eventually catch the attention of the NHL to see if they'd allow Benny on the ice during game intermissions as a mascot for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Besides allowing Benny to show off his skills, she hopes his example will show what rescue dogs are capable of. Nellie, a pot belly pig from Ohio, caught her owner's attention from the start. She was more energetic than the rest of her brood. She slept less than other pigs and was energetic and eager, although easily bored. She also preferred the indoors and didn't like getting dirty. So her owners Steve and Priscilla Valentine started teaching her tricks. No matter how much they taught her, she seemed to want more. She learned to play soccer and mini golf, run obstacle courses, and even spell short words out of alphabet blocks. It wasn't unusual to hear Nellie practicing tricks or banging away at a mini piano in her room all night. She quickly became a lucrative sideshow attraction, performing any of over 100 tricks she had mastered. Nellie has a flair for the dramatic, performing with makeup, fake eyelashes, and garlands of flowers around her neck. She's performed all over the country and has been featured everywhere from National Geographic to the LA Times. When thinking about talented animals, cats usually don't come up. Not that cats are talentless, just that most of the time cats seem more interested in napping. The Savitsky cats are here to change that stereotype. Competing in season 13 of America's Got Talent, their owners have the cats jumping through hoops, doing parallel bar gymnastics, climbing poles, and doing swan dives into pillows. There are 10 cats in total, each with their own unique skill set. They are trained by the Savitsky family, particularly Mother Svetlana. She has been training cats since she was 10 years old, dreaming at the time of eventually moving up to lions and tigers. However, as she grew up, she realized that cats themselves can prove to be just as entertaining. Considering the cats made it to the AGT quarterfinals, sounds like she made the right choice. It's not uncommon for people to create Instagram accounts for their pets. Usually they're filled with photos of them in the yard or dressed up in costumes or fresh from the groomer. Secret is quite a different sort of dog and is quickly becoming a huge star on Instagram. So what is her, um, secret? Every single post showcases Secret performing a new trick and she seems to know all of the tricks. She sits, she stands, she plays ping pong, she can weight lift. Wanna see her play drums? It's there. Want to see her actively help out with the household chores like sweeping and vacuuming? They got you covered. Posts also show her achieving very tricky yoga poses with her owner that take precarious balancing. There seems to be no end to Secret's talents. It's common knowledge that parrots are capable of mimicking short phrases, vocalizations, and sounds, but few have developed the range of Echo the Singing Bird. Trainer Sarah Hoft met Echo while working with the Animal Garden in Lake Geneva, and they bonded instantly. Sarah has trained Echo to sing four songs and utter over 50 vocalizations. He can speak Spanish, make banter with her while performing, and imitate sounds like the telephone ringing. Besides continuing to perform at the Animal Garden, Sarah and Echo have appeared on The Late Show with Jay Leno, Animal Planet, and America's Got Talent, making it to the quarterfinals of Season 6. Maple is a dog owned by a mysterious musician that goes by the name Acoustic Trench. She's super chill and loves blissing out to acoustic guitar, as you will quickly find out while looking over the YouTube and Instagram devoted to her. However, her original claim to fame happened while video sharing site Vine was still around. Noticing how much his dog enjoyed the mellow, velvety tones of his finger picking, he decided he wanted to use this bond to get her involved. In a series of viral videos since, he's recorded her performing alongside him by stomping on a bass drum, hitting a cowbell or bongos, or even hammering out a couple notes on a glockenspiel. Groovy. Police dogs are usually trained to sniff out clues or for tracking fugitives, but Pancho from the Municipal Police of Madrid takes his officer duties even more seriously. Showing up alongside fellow officers at first aid training events, Pancho was able to demonstrate CPR procedure. An officer will fall down pretending to be unconscious while other officers call for help. Pancho arrives and immediately starts pushing his front paws on the officer's chest for chest compression. He'll then lean his head on the officer's chest to check for breathing and heartbeat. 